Straight up tigers, crazy motherfucker named Tony. First general on 22 Tiger Dude. The crazy dude that loves SpongeBob SquarePants and loves to sit down and drink some horchata. Rapping may not be the motherfucker's thing, but he's still doing that to have some fun so he can review Straight Outta Compton. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Straight Outta Compton. So Straight Outta Compton is directed by F. Gary Gray, the same director that, yes, brought you Friday. So Straight Outta Compton has the talents of O'Shea Jackson Jr., Ice Cube's son, Corey Hawkins, Jason Mitchell, Neil Brown Jr., Aldis Hodge, sorry if I mispronounced that, and... Paul Giamatti. So, Strata Compton is based on the true story on the life of the NWA, which stands for, well, I'll put it right here on the screen. I just don't feel comfortable saying the N word, to be honest. It's the life of how they started the whole group, how, you know, the group fell apart, and how they rose back. I was actually really interested in Straight Outta Compton because NWA, I do think, creates great rap music. So I was interested to see where this is going to go. This is a very raw and honest biopic. It's not afraid to show the life that this group has gone through and I truly admire the film for that. Everyone, the talents that played the NWA group were all phenomenal. Paul Giamatti as their manager was great too. The movie is also shot so beautifully. The framing and the cinematography into the movie is absolutely magnificent and it really does feel like we're actually in the 1980s through the 1990s period that the movie is showing us. This movie is two hours and 30 minutes long, so I'm pretty sure there's things they might have left out, but for what I've actually looked up about the events, they've actually squeezed in at least like the major things we needed to know about this rap group. So for that, I give huge credit to the film. F. Gary Gray's direction is excellent. Some of the best direction I've seen definitely in 2015. Concert moments, man. I, I heard that the actors actually just pretty much auto-synced the songs that the NWA did, which I think it was cool, because it actually did look like they were singing the NWA music, and they flowed well. The movie also does do a fantastic job of showing you the realism of police brutality, because this is something so horrible that's been happening back then, and it still actually happens still to this day. And it's nonsense how the police officer's duties are to go out there and serve their justice. Instead, they're just beating up people because of their race. Every scene in this movie is very well executed. Every scene in this movie is so well paced. And the dramatic moments in this movie really hit me in the gut. Because there's even a few times, especially when it comes towards the end, where I actually teared up because the movie is so powerful and it does such a phenomenal job of just making you care for the NWA, the rap group, the events that they had to struggle through. And it was also very cool how the movie did do the references. Like, you know, there was a mention of Boys in the Hood. Storytelling to this movie is so raw and so honest. The actors really communicate with one another. You know, Ice Cube's son, O'Shea Jackson Jr., he really does look like Ice Cube. And to that actor's credit, he does such a phenomenal job. You also have the actor who plays Easy e um, Jason Mitchell. Jason Mitchell as Easy e gives easily one of the best performances of the year. And if he gets nominated, at least for an Oscar, I really wouldn't be surprised. But personally, I think all of the actors did a great job. Uh, Corey Hawkins really fits Dr. Dre. Looks like him too. 
When you watch the NWA on screen, you really buy that they are a family. And you really do buy that no matter where life takes them, they're going to be there for each other. The movie has a great blend of screen time for at least most of the members in the group. Like, they focused on Ice Cube, and they focused on Dr. Dre, and they focused on Easy e Those three guys are the ones that get the most screen time, the ones that get the most focus, and the ones that definitely get the most backstory because they're a huge part of the rap group. The movie finds time to actually give each of them a backstory and to just expand it so we could care for them. And even if RC Ren and DJ Yella weren't really focused all that much, I still even cared for them. And of course, just listening to the NWA music is awesome. I'm just getting really pumped because I just love the music. The movie just brings that great sense of energy and to the atmosphere with the group. So it was just really highly engrossing to see how the NWA really did change the world. The only problem I did have with Straight Outta Compton is just that MC Ren and DJ Yella didn't really have a whole lot of focus. You know, the movie focused a lot on Ice Cube, Dr. Dre, and Easy e but I would have liked to have the movie expand more on those two members because they are just as important as with Cube, Dr. Dre, and Easy e So I think personally it would have been nice for the movie to expand more on their backstories as much as they did with the other three members. Definitely the best biopic I've seen this year so far. I had a lot of fun. I was invested. It had energy. So straight out of Compton. As far as the movies I reviewed in 2015, it's the first movie to get four out of four stars from me. So you guys in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of Straight Outta Compton. Also you guys, I want to bring up that I got to be on Joe Tofano's first podcast. I got to talk to Joe on Google Plus for the first time. Very nice guy. So if you haven't checked out his podcast and his channel, I'll leave a link in the description below. And also, you guys, please support WWE Fan 0599's Battlefield Earth rant. And the reason I'm bringing that review up is because um, this movie review for Straight Outta Compton is actually the reason why he's reviewing uh, Battlefield Earth. Um, he explains the whole situation there, so if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, yeah, WWE Fan, respect, man. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power! Or should I say, straight out of Tiger Power? Hmm.